Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Well, if you guess that the last time we've seen rain, measurable rain in Eugene was on the 12th, you'd be right. If not, well, there you go. You just heard it. It's basically been about two weeks since we've seen any measurable rain. We had red flag warnings out uh, late last week and certainly uh, this weekend. A lot of the uh, not only farmers, but certainly folks that are watching the snowpack and the ski resorts very carefully praying for more of the uh, white stuff coming down. Well, it eventually will. For the initial wave of it, though, it's all going to fall as rain. This is the warm front coming through. Warm fronts generally bring in warmer temperatures as well. That pushes the snow lines back up above the passes. Passes will be wet starting tonight, and we'll start to see that change over to some snow as we head to tomorrow. Let's go out to the storm tracker, and I'll show you what we've got. Let's put things in sort of details here. The low itself moving north. You can see the bulk of this first wave of rain pushing up along the Washington coastline, starting to see some uh, measurable precipitation in all all of the weather buckets across western Oregon out to the coast, central southern valley, and certainly down towards the Umpqua as well. If we zoom in a little closer on our storm tracker 9 life radar sweep, we've got some heavier batches now moving their way across the coast range. Another one, let's say, out just north of the uh, lighthouse there uh, towards Hasita Head, Salem, moving on over towards Detroit and then up into the Cascade foothills where it will be snow as you get up to the peaks. That's about it. Otherwise, we're talking about snow lines still at around 9,000 feet will be dropping over the next couple of days. Also dropping, but just a bit tonight is the temperature is sitting in the upper uh, 30s now from Corvallis down towards Eugene 47 degrees in Roseburg already well below freezing a very frigid afternoon across central Oregon anything that tries to make it over top of that will fall as basically snow or sort of a slushy snow uh, depending on how warm the air is and how much of a warm column it has to get through but overnight tonight I'm going to keep some rain showers around for everybody should keep those temperatures above freezing too so that's not a huge deal uh, in terms of the frozen precipitation highs across the state sort of anywhere between the 30s out towards the Dallas where they may see a chance for some frozen precipitation a little warmer as you get over on the western side of the state we'll keep things fairly warm too because of the jet stream flattening out just a bit now our storm cast the next 36 hours show some decent snowfall chances especially as you go further east and uh, north of us but we will at least keep the rain chances around over the next couple of days because of the jet stream flattening out just a bit by the midweek and that should keep little weather disturbances sort of rolling along that instead of going up and over top of us kind of come right into the northwest here. So nothing major, but certainly uh, we'll see a pattern that we have not seen for the last couple of weeks. So scattered showers across the Umpqua as well for tomorrow. Temperatures there will be in the mid uh, 50s. We'll be looking at upper 30s to mid 40s. Snow lines at around 7,500 feet. Isolated showers and mostly cloudy skies in central Oregon. In the Willamette Valley, scattered showers as well. Kind of cloudy for most of the day tomorrow on and off. Might get a peak of sun. Otherwise, the coast will see the showers wrap up early Friday. Should be drying out for the weekend. The Umpqua Basin as well. Uh, heaviest rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday before we dry out. The Cascade, same thing for the snow chances Wednesday and Thursday. And then again, not much accumulating snow, but they'll take what they can get. And we'll do the same here in the Valley, Matt, as uh, we are already about uh, three and some change inches below where yeah. we should be for this month. And we know why it's raining. Yes. You washed your car. That's right, I did. But it had to be done.